Developing out of South Florida this morning, at least nine confirmed dead and more than 150 people still unaccounted for as search and rescue crews desperately look for survivors in the deadly condo collapse. NBC's Jay Gray joins us from the scene with more on the search and investigation as families cling on to hope. Aisha, good morning. Look, the frantic search for survivors here began just minutes after the building fell to the ground, and it's only stopped once since then. Yesterday, as family members, loved ones of those still missing got their first up-close look at the devastation here. Teams are still pulling away pieces of the crumbled high-rise. As they pick up those large pieces of debris, it allows for a whole other round of, uh, of the, the dogs that make the rounds that look for survivors and allow those, those paramedics that are embedded with the team, those surgeons that are embedded in the team, uh, those engineers embedded with the teams in order to do their jobs. A job that continues around the clock because these heroes understand time, like the elements, is an enemy. We have heard taps. We have heard falling. We have heard twisting metal. We hear sounds all the time. The Noriega family hasn't heard from their 92-year-old grandmother since the collapse. I fell to my knees just in realization that my grandmother was in that building. But as they rushed in, they did get what they consider a message, finding images and items from her apartment in the debris. It would be a miracle to bring her out alive. It would be a miracle of the ages. And if my grandmother's soul's in heaven, then I know that she's with Jesus. And either way, she's good. So we have found comfort in that. Comfort, or at least some understanding, is what dozens of families search for as they're allowed a closer look at the site Sunday. Toys pulled from the wreckage, along with messages of hope, line the sidewalk, a memorial of sorts, not far from this fence, covered with pictures of the more than 150 still missing here. A little more now on the investigation. Engineers and other experts continuing to focus on the bottom of the 13-story building and the possibility of a structural failure either in or below the underground parking garage that may have led to the deadly collapse. In Surfside, I'm Jay Gray. Aisha, back to you now.